Hello everybody and welcome. Those for you tuning in, I am your host Quasar Suedo here to bring you Star Trek Online. I thought, you know, it'd be a nice change of scenery from playing all those scary and horror games for a change. So I decided let's not switch to a different one for, you know, for something else different. But, um, today I want to show you guys, um, a deep space encounter with the Dominion. If any of you ever seen, um, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, then you guys would know what the Dominion is. For those um, who haven't seen it or haven't come across it yet, I think you guys would probably like the Dominion War between the Federation and um, the Dominion. To be frank, I'm not I'm not that big of a Trekkie, but I am a Star Trek fan. You know, they have really nice um storyline and um, the fighting, how they come about things. I really thought it was pretty interesting, and other than that, I'm a really big fan of space battles. So I was like, oh, hey, you know, why not give it a shot? So, as you guys probably see, I'm already at Vice Admiral. I started playing this game probably about two months ago. Continue exploring. Yes. So, as you guys can see, I am right now rocking a... Ambassador class retrofit I got from the, the mission Temporal Ambassador. Good happy that it came out though. I, like, oh, I need a new ship and I don't have the funds to actually, you know, go out and get another actual ship. Uh, I think that's 40 bucks. Well guys, we're using two um two ret forward retrofitted um phaser banks and two rear uh phaser in the followed by constant torpedoes. My ship is you know primarily meant for um balancing offense and defense. I can try I can take a beating and I can also dish one out. I know cruisers are meant to be used as tanks, but I didn't kind of see the point of, you know dishing out all that punishment but um but then not being able to take it back so I was like you know what I'll find a balance in between both of them but if you guys play Star Trek online and if you have cruisers or any kind of shit like that out there then um uh, my 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 question to you guys is where you guys help me out, so I would really like to know a better way to outfit my ship to uh, make it more, you know, combat effective. Does any help you guys have to offer? I will appreciate it. Yeah, I did look up that um, video for a uh, what is it called? Starship um Starship Pack. I know the phasers are meant to take down uh, enemy shields and photon torpedoes are meant for uh, taking down um uh, damaging the hull and stuff. And if you guys want me to keep playing this, you know. If you guys are interested in when you're playing it, then uh, let me know in the comments below. You seen if you have any uh, advice or details or particular strategies you guys have to offer. I am all open ears for that. And if you guys don't know where to get the Scorpion Fighter from, you are doing from the Romulan, um, the Romulan mission, the Vault. Now, yeah, it seems like someone needs help up there, so I'm gonna turn my ship around so I can actually go help him. Or her. Yeah, you know, I kind of watch Star Trek and then, you know, kind of figure, you know, these 
If this video is longer than, you know, 15 minutes, then I'll probably break it up into three different parts for you guys to watch. I guess so. No, it's not all at once. More or less, I'd like to know what you guys think about this sort of game. How you, how I want to see how you guys, you know, think about the game and how you guys would approach it. If you guys were like in the same situation I was in right now, how would you guys approach this? What kind of strategies would you use? I do think we can help. Uh, the way this should work is that we should be able to help each other. You guys help me, and I got, and I'll be able to help you guys in return. Therefore, you know, improving on what we have right now. More to the game than just tanks and space battles and stuff like that. Everything you do in the game is kind of sort of unique. You know, you can customize the ship you want it. You can give a name. The name actually appears on the ship. You know, customize its weapon, its looks, the color, the design, the template, the bridge. And then you can um, customize your duty officers, your own character. The details about the customization for the character is like kind of like Skyrim. It is really, really detailed. It took me about an hour just to get all the design and stuff down correctly that I want to do. And the details, dude. So um. And uh, there's more, like um, there's also um. Ground battles, like, you know, when you beam up, you can actually show you beaming up your ship, beaming down. You show your ship working in, working out. They have these things called um, foundry missions. You have, um, foundry missions are like custom made stories, which are really good. Personally, I prefer, um, the foundry mission that I love doing was, um, The Dead Return and The Wave Empire. I think anyone who wants to try that, those out would uh, get a really nice story out of those. And um, sorry, I got sidetracked by that. But um, you know, crazy. You know, there's so much to do, there's so much to explore in this game. It's just like ridiculous. You no, know, you can help people. You can do diplomatic diplomatic missions. You know. I'm part of a fleet. I am part. I'm currently part of the unit, unit Avengers, and um, you can uh, get you know customize your crew, your duty officers, and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and quickly show you that guy before I cut this out. USS Eclipse support retro support crews a retrofit. I have a shuttle, which is um a runabout. This is my character right here. my um, science officer right now I'm showing you guys my bridge crew tactical officer my other tactical officer my engineers 
you know, I'm the type of officer who's a, this is my first officer, either Jim Hadar. Then, um, you know, there's your skills, the stations, for what you put your crew in, your bridge officers, that uh, you can use the ability to use. And just to show you guys the reputation, which they recently added in. Now I'm going to quickly show you um my fleet, Munich Avengers, or exit out of that gig we promoted. It's awesome. And um, your um obviously your duty officers, which you, you have your personal missions, which I can't show you guys at this point, but um your duty officers make up uh, your crew practically about all the abilities and certain things you can do, like certain missions, certain um things you have them run off and do, whether it's a way mission around the ship, stuff like that, and then so on and so on. But I'm going to cut the video here, guys. I hope you guys had a, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, watching the video. And if you guys liked the video, then please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any advice, tips, or comments, please leave them down in the description below. I would highly appreciate anything you guys have to offer or to tell me. And, um... Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. So this is Quasar Suedo signing off.